In the far-flung Northern Territory of Cambodia, along the almost endless stretch of the Mekong River in Southeast Asia, the province of Stang Trang is the furthest latitudinal region in the country. With its immediate share of boundary with Laos, crossing the political border from Stang Trang can be achieved through the National Road 7 and the Mekong River. A large pool of multiple ethnic cities calls this province home. They are, of course, Laotian, Chinese, Jam, Gavite, Lun, Grung, Jarai, Umpun, Gui, and many more. On top of it, Stang Trang is blessed with the abundance of unique flooded forests as well as various heritage sites. Situated on the inclining and declining elevation of the mountainous areas, which also helps protect the country from many atmospheric natural disasters, this 1192,000 square kilometer province has its own town right at the bank of the Kong River, where it is then connected to the Mekong River. Geographically, it is 480 kilometers from the capital city of Phnom Penh and only 57 kilometers from the border of Laos. According to one book written by Sipa, the Mekong River spans more than 100 kilometers of its length across this northern province. In addition, the Mekong subsidiaries such as the Kong River, the San River and Srai Puk River are also present inside the region. Because of the criss-cross nature of these four rivers, as well as smaller streams that make their way in between, those bodies of water are the crucial highways for transportation, travel, and water supply. As you may have guessed, this province is packed with forests on land, or even sometimes right in the middle of the Mekong River's belly. With its unique location of growth, Rai Tree, Chai Tree, and Anjai Tree roam the land. When the water retreats, some of the tree's roots remain hidden under water, while others expose themselves out in the open air above the ground in some elevated places in the middle of the rivers. When the water level rages, smaller and lower trees lose their precious leaves due to being submerged under a strong water pressure. However, other larger and more capable trees, such as the Anjain, with the height of more than 20 meters, have a higher chance of survival as they can retain their greenish and lush leaves from being detached. During the arrival of the dry season, countless sprouts of newly grown leaves emerge from the stems to accommodate many bird species as they build their nest and host their family. In terms of human population, the number keeps on increasing as more people migrate from other flatland provinces. The largest ethnic city, Khmer, harmoniously resides with other ethnic cities such as Laotian, Chinese, Jam, Kawait, Lun, Krung, Jarai, Tumpun, Kachok, and Kui. For the minorities, they often live along the mountainous parts of the province. Despite its mixture of various ethnic cities and the blessing waterways, Stang Trang also hosts a number of heritage in terms of pagodas old traditional houses as well as other French colonial architectures. Surprisingly, travelers can also find temples in this region. Prambai Luvang Temple, Bajong Temple and Preko Temple represent the endurance of the expansion of the Khmer Empire during the ancient time.